Don't give up on finding love. You are going to find love. And in this video, I wanted to share with you six reasons why you shouldn't give up on finding love. I know that finding love can be so hard for some of us. We've tried our very best. We've gone on so many dates. We've tried relationships and it just doesn't seem to be happening. Especially now in the modern digital age where we have so many dating apps available at our fingertips. But you know what? Sometimes having too many choices, it's called the paradox of choice. It's not really helping us. If anything, it's causing a dating disaster in the modern day. There's more and more people feeling lonely. And I really believe that finding love is something that we all truly want at our core, being a human. It's, we are social creatures, we all want love. And some of us may not be ready for it at some point, but eventually there will be periods in our life where this is something very important to us, to find love, to find a partner, to share our life experiences with. So I hope you find these reasons useful and I hope they can encourage and inspire you to have hope and to hang in there because you are going to find love. So the first reason is belief, to change our mindset. This is really important because what we believe, it's what's going to be our reality. So if you believe that you're just someone who's really unlucky in love and there's no chance of you finding someone and that you're going to be lonely for the rest of your life and single, you've just got bad luck on your side. If you start thinking like this and believing these negative thoughts, then guess what? This is actually what's going to be the reality for you because I really believe what we think, our thoughts, that's what creates our reality. So the first thing is we need to change our mindset. We need to change the way we think about love. We need to start believing that we are worth love, that we are deserving of the love that we're looking for. Once we start believing that and continuing to believe that, even if we don't see the results straight away in our life, eventually that will happen. The second thing is, do not let your past dictate your future. I know that so many of us, we've gone through bad breakups with people, we've had disasters, and it can be so off-putting for us when we've had those experiences that make us feel like, I never wanna date men again, or it can be the other way around. But we cannot let what has happened to us in the past dictate our future. Sometimes we go through experiences to teach us something. So every time we go through a negative experience or when a date is very disappointing, we can always learn from these experiences. There's always something to learn. And when we are giving dates and relationships an opportunity and they don't work out, at least in this way, we get to discover what we like and what we don't like. And this is going to take us that one step closer to the person who we want to be with. The third thing is, I think sometimes we just need to look around us and observe the amount of love there is around us. My mum has a saying that even birds come in pairs. I think sometimes when we see couples outside in the shopping malls or walking in the park, on holidays, on the beach, it can be so easy for us to feel like, why not me? It's not fair. Maybe we start to feel some emotions of en being envious and jealousy. But I think we need to switch this around. When we see examples of people being in love in relationships, this should be a reminder that love 
is all around us. This should be a sign for us that if other people can find love, so can we. Doesn't matter how they look like, what age they are, people are in love from all walks of life and we see it. Number four is letting go of people who are no longer serving us. I know it can be so easy for us to hold on to those toxic relationships. We may stay in contact with people from our past, but once we do that, it can be holding us back and opening doors to new possibilities. I've done it myself. When I felt lonely, I, it would be so easy to respond to a person from the past. But I'm sure we've heard of the saying, when one door close, closes, another door opens. And I really believe in this because it's like releasing the energy, releasing the part of your past that is no longer serving you. Because when sometimes we're holding on to things, it can hold us back in life. And that's why we need to let go of that toxic relationship that's no longer serving us or if there's baggage that we have from our past we need to overcome that trauma heal let it go i know it may not always be easy but we can work towards just putting it past us so that we can step forward and be open to new people to new possibilities and that's the way we can attract new things into our life once we are ready, once we've let go of our past. Number five is use this time. I know when we are single, we can feel lonely, we can feel sad, but remember to use this time to embrace this journey of being single to grow. Think about when you eventually do meet that person, find your partner, find, meet your husband, whatever it is that you want. What kind of things are you going to be doing together? Maybe you need to learn a few skills that you don't know yet. This is the time to prepare yourself so you're ready when that person arrives. This could be, for example, knowing how to cook because when you're in a relationship, you know, maybe you might take turns to do the household things. Or it could be making sure you take care of your finances making sure that you are okay on your own, growing. This is the time to work on yourself, to develop, to grow, to work on your passions, become that person who you want to be. Because one day when you do meet that person, you may look back at this time that you're being single and it may just seem like a small moment in your life that you may look back and think, I wish I could have had that moment again. So sometimes the grass may not always be greener and let's not forget that being single has its perks too. And at least when you do eventually meet someone, you could always look back and think, yeah, I really enjoyed that time when I was alone. And then the love of my life came along looking back at being single in a positive way, that we didn't waste it, that we used it to our advantage because this can be a pivotal time if we have the opportunity to be alone. I talk about it in some of my other videos, that it can be really powerful to be alone, to grow into the person who you want to be without distractions. So please don't see this time of being single as a negative thing turn it around into a positive thing and make it into the best time of your life. And it would be just a matter of time before someone turns up. I can almost guarantee you that. Number six is please don't rush. I know as we get older, it may seem much more difficult to find someone and we start panicking. But I really believe that true and real love should not be rushed. Our time is precious. Our time in this world is limited. So what we desire, we should not settle. We should not settle for what we want. I know we can start panicking as we get older, we're not going to find someone and then 
some of us may end up settling with someone only to later discover that actually we've made the wrong choice and things didn't work out. Isn't it better that we take our time and that we are patient to find someone rather than rush and settle out of desperation and feeling lonely? If we can find love at any point in life, this is the way I think, why do we need to rush? I also want to mention that love doesn't always have to be in a romantic sense of love. We can receive and give love in many other ways. So for example, we can give love to our family and we can receive love from our family, from our elderly parents that we're taking care of. That's a form of love or it could be with our community or our work colleagues. It could be doing some voluntary work or contributing towards something, being a service to something. Not only are these things are fulfilling and give us a sense of purpose, but that can also be a form of love. I hope this video encourages you to have hope and have faith that you are going to find love and to stay positive because it will happen, it will really happen, I really believe that. Let me know what you think about this topic on finding love. I would love to hear from you, leave a comment below, share your experiences. I would love to hear what your thoughts are or your perspective on this topic, even if it's different. Please leave your comment below. I hope you're all doing really well and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, bye.